Did you know that you can turn any group of indicators inside TradingView into a custom trading bot? Any group of indicators, doesn't matter what they are. Did you know that? Let me show you how. But before we begin, as always, the strategy presented in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Please do your own research and read the full disclaimer in the description of this video. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Tommy, and on this channel, I teach how to automate different trading strategies using the TommyBots platform. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about grouping multiple indicators together inside TradingView to create a custom trading bot. And the actual indicators themselves don't matter. So for the sake of this example, I'm just going to take two very simple MACD indicators and link them together using group alerts to execute buy and sells on the exchange automatically. So let's go into trading view and you'll see that I have two MACD indicators on my screen. And the only difference between the two is one is set to the one hour time frame, and the other one is set to the six hour time frame. And you can see that when I go into the settings, you'll see that for the indicator time frame, this one is set to chart and my chart is on one hour. And if we go to the other one, the indicator time frame is set to the six hour. So that's really the only difference. And so with this simple strategy, what we're doing is we are looking for on the six hour chart, we are looking for the MACD line to be above the signal line. And when it is above the signal line, we are going to want to buy when the MACD on the one hour crosses above the signal on the one hour. So if we look at the chart here, if we just eyeball it, you can see that the, the MACD is below the signal line throughout this entire period here. So we wouldn't be taking any of these trades. And when the MACD uh, is above the signal line on the six hour, then we do want to take the crosses on the one hour. So in this case, uh, and you can see I already kind of marked some of these out. So this first one here is, is a small loss. Uh, this one here is 2.16%. Here's another small loss. And here is a 6.59% and a 0.47%. And then the MACD uh, goes back under the signal line. So we stay out of trades at that point. Now, of course, the goal with any strategy is to make sure that you keep your winners bigger than your losers. And it looks like this satisfies that requirement so far. So, uh, before you start putting any strategy together, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to set clear conditions. And so we need to set our buy conditions. And then we also need to set our sell conditions. And for this particular strategy, we have two buy conditions. So the first buy condition is we want to make sure that the signal on the, or I'm sorry, the MACD on the six hour is above the signal on the six hour. So we're going to say MACD is greater than signal on the six hour time frame. And our second buy condition is going to be when the MACD on the one hour is, or crosses above the signal. Ah, signal, there we go. And for the cell condition, we only have one cell condition. And the cell condition is when the MACD on the one hour closes below the signal. So now that we have very clear buy conditions and very clear sell conditions defined, all we have to do is create the alerts that send those signals over to the TommyBots platform where TommyBots can do the rest. So this is probably a good time to introduce the concept of what we call group alerts. Now, anytime you have more than one condition that you need to be satisfied in order to make a buy or a sell, we call that a group alert or a group of alerts. So for example, in this particular case, in order to buy, we have defined that we have two conditions that need to be met before we want to buy on the exchange. As far as the sell goes, we only have one condition. So this, this technically is not a group alert, that's just a normal alert. But anytime you have more than one 
then we call that a group alert. So when this first condition is satisfied and the second condition is satisfied within any specific time frame that we want, then the bot is going to execute that on the exchange. So when it receives the first condition, uh, the bot is going to keep track of that and it's going to know that it's waiting for the second condition to be met. And then as soon as both of those conditions come into the bot, then it is going to uh, execute a buy on the exchange. Now I want you to stop and think about this for a second because this is one of the most powerful features of the TommyBots platform that doesn't exist anywhere else that, that I'm aware of. Uh, so what this basically means is that you can set multiple conditions on multiple indicators on uh, various lines in your chart, whatever you want, whatever scenarios you can dream up. If you can put alerts on them, that means that you can build these condition scenarios and you can create these scenarios where when you have a certain number of conditions that are met, you can execute one buy or one sell on the exchange and have it be done automatically. And the bot is going to manage those conditions and uh, and send those to the exchange accordingly. So, uh, so really the sky's the limit. If you can dream up different scenarios uh, for different strategies, uh, the bot is going to be able to take care of that for you and to automate that for you. So let's go ahead and finish building this out. So let's go ahead and build the first alert for the first condition. So the first condition is when the MACD is greater than the signal on the six hour. So we'll go to the six hour MACD and we'll click on the three dots on the right side and we're going to select add alert. And now I already have my bots webhook URL in here and I'm just using this for demo purposes. I'm never going to use this bot again, so I don't care if anybody sees this, but this is something that's unique to me or unique to you. So don't ever share your bot URL with anybody. Otherwise people could potentially make trades on your account. They can't withdraw anything, but they can make trades on your account if they get this. So you do want to make sure that you protect it and don't share it with anybody. So what we want to do is we want to take the MACD and when it is greater than then select this, the same indicator that we had before. So this is the six hour. So when it's greater than the signal, uh, and we want to do this once per bar close. And we're going to call this our buy condition one. And I'm going to triple click in here to select all and delete it. And then we're going to go over to Tommy bots and let's go ahead and uh, we'll go to the code generator. And in this case, we are buying Ave USD and we're going to do a limit order. We're going to dynamically set the limit price to the corresponding candle price when the alert is triggered. That just means that when the alert's triggered, whatever the price is, we're going to use that price for our limit order. And for the amount, uh, let's just go ahead and stick with the two and a half percent. And so that's going to use two and a half percent of the available USD balance on our account to uh, to make the trade. And uh, this is going to be a group alert. So we're gonna go ahead and check this. And now we have to give our group alert, uh, we have to give it an ID. So in this case, uh, let's just call it Ave uh, one hour uh, dual MACD. We'll call it that. Something that we can easily identify what the strategy is. And so we have two conditions for our buy condition. So this is gonna be alert number one of two. So this is how the bot's gonna know that uh, that it needs two conditions in order to make the buy. And for the time window, uh, this is where you tell the bot what the time window is that both conditions need to be received in order for the, the condition set to be satisfied. So if we're working with a six hour time frame, uh, one of those conditions is only gonna be potentially fired once every six hours. And so we need at least a six hour time window uh, for both of those conditions to be satisfied. So um, what you typically want to do is make sure that it's a little bit longer than that, just so that you can ensure that if, if the alerts come in like, you know, a few seconds late or something like that, then they're not going to be ignored. So in this case, um, let's go ahead and say, well, I'll just say seven hours. So I'm just going to type in seven hours and hit next and generate code. And so this generated all the code that we need for our alert. So we're just gonna click on the copy button 
and go back to Ave and we're going to paste that in. And uh, that first condition is done. So now we're going to go ahead and add the second by condition. And we don't have to generate our code again. We're going to use the same exact code with our group alert. So we're going to go over to the one hour MACD and uh, click on add alert. And in this case, we want the MACD to be crossing up on, we're going to select that one hour MACD again, and we want it to be crossing up on the signal. And we don't want this to happen immediately when it happens, uh, because the, the, the signal line can repaint a little bit. So we're, we're going to be working with the bar closed. So once that candle closes, then we want to evaluate the condition. So, uh, we're going to call this, uh, by condition two, and we're going to triple click to select all and delete it. And then we're just going to paste in that same code that we had on our clipboard from the last one. And the only thing that we're going to change is the alert number. So see, there's a variable in here that says alert number one, and then it says of total alerts two. We're just going to change the one to a two. So that way that's the alert number is what identifies and separates this condition from the last condition. So, and that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. And now all we need is to create our cell condition and our cell condition is when the MACD on the one hour closes below the signal. So I'm going to go ahead and add an alert on the one hour and I'm going to select MACD and crossing down on the signal. And again, we want to do this on the bar close and I'm just going to call this cell condition or cell. I'll just call it cell and triple click to select all and delete it. And now we're going to go back to the code generator and this time we're going to select cell and go ahead and leave Ave USD. We'll just go ahead and do a limit order again. And uh, this is not a group alert at this point because this is the only condition for the cell. Now, if we had multiple conditions for the cell, then we could do a group alert for the cell as well. But in this case, we don't need to do that. So I'm just going to click next, generate code. And now we have a new code snippet that we can copy and paste into our alert and hit create. And that's it. We're done. So now we can sit back and this will automatically buy when the first two conditions are met and it'll sell when the sell condition is met. After all of the conditions are met and it does execute the buy or the sell order on the exchange, you will receive a text message and an email alert that notifies you of the asset and whether or not it was a buy or a sell, as well as the status. Uh, you can also log into your account and go to the alert log section, which will have a bunch of information on the status of the group. Uh, if it is a group alert or uh, if it's a normal alert like the cell right here, it'll tell you uh, whether or not everything was successful. If there was any error messages or anything like that, that would also print to the logs. But that's really it. That's how easy it is to create your own custom trading bot using multiple indicators in TradingView using your own strategy. Now, this channel is going to be dedicated to showing how to automate other trading strategies. So if you like this video and you're interested in seeing more like it, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, guys, take care.